Grandma's house. It's the most perfect grandma's house in the world. Okay, let's get started on our project. Uh, hi, Grandma. always going up that much you know mm -hmm. so you have to cut down first right then go back up yeah that makes sense sure that I have enough <laughs> yeah it seems to be you stretch it like that seems to be the right way okay and then we Stick it in like this, and we make sure that uh, see there's a little thing and there's a little hole. They have to match. And then push this up, and this has to be loose. Can't sew. This has to be loose. Hold on to it, otherwise. We fill as much as we can because there's a lot of sewing to do. You'd like to get your own machine? Yeah, I would. I want to eventually do like pillows. That'd be nice. Okay, You're nice. learning from the expert. This has to be way up. I'm not an expert, but <laughs> I. Grandmas are always experts. I've sewn a few few things in my time. Now this one, I don't have enough vision, so what I do is I put this through. I use a needle threader. Yeah. That's smart. I don't even see that. Bring the thread yeah, to the back. Now, this is a little tricky. This has to go in, and see this little notch? Mm -hmm. Then it has to go like that. Gets through. And then you hold it real tight with this thing and you slip it in here. It has to snap in there and this has to be like that. Okay. Well, then we actually we take this thread, hold the thread and go. See, see what I'm doing here? With mm -hmm. my, and that's supposed to pull it up. Oh, it did. And I guess stitches. What do you want? About nine. I think this is about right. You just step on the thing then and it's goes. Okay. Everything's fine. Make sure that's raised when you yeah. start. Mm -hmm. And on the number three, at least for this one. Now we will go and see. What are you doing? I'm teaching myself how to sew. Uh huh. And I'm not very good at it. And what's that red thing next to your hand? This is a Pam cap. Oh. For the Pam. <laughs> That's not for sewing, but. Okay. okay. So I'm trying to do everything with just one stitch. So I have to do an inside hem. So I measured out one inch hem, which gives me a half inch um, 
inside him. Okay. And then I'm doing a one and a half inch, I don't know, major hem, I don't know what you call it. Mega hem. Big hem. So you measure up the three inches from the inside hem, which will give me one and a half. Mm -hmm. This might all be wrong. <laughs> And I'm pinning the inside hem down, so when I sew it, I'll sew through th three layers basically. So this is the this is the thing I'm trying to sew. Okay. And you can tell it's already kind of fucked up. Oops, sorry, that's a bad word. It's right here. Like too long. What I don't know is. The bobbin, I know you have to pull the bobbin through to the top, but I already did that and then I had to re-thread this needle and I think the bobbin's already pulled through, so I don't have to do it again. So I can see it's through the little hole, but I feel like you have to do it every time you re-thread, that's why I'm not really sure. Anyway, so I'm gonna do this. Sewing with the experts. And then I put the foot down, or then whatever that is. And this stinks because it's too big to follow a line. And you have no room behind your sewing machine right now. Yeah, well, yeah, it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to try really hard to stay straight. So, okay. Let's see what you got, lady. You know what I think? I think you're ready to sew our sails. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. See, you did a something. More curtains, babe. Yeah, these are for the cooper and the snoozer. Mm hmm. What's going on, girl? I just didn't pull it tight enough as I was sewing. Oh no. So it just got like a little janky. Janky? No, you could get really janky just like it bunched, you know, so oh it's not like super God. tight. Well, it is going to bunch up when you mount it, well, so it's probably it's okay if it's a little janky. It's a little janky. And the second thing, well, the second thing is... This room is so funny looking. I thought that <laughs> with a straight line, it didn't really matter what the um, width was because it's straight. But I'm pretty sure I had it on the wrong setting. Oh because boy. When I put my foot down faster, it makes them like closer together, but it mm. should be set at a standard. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's one, two, three, or whatever. Yeah. But I it should, like it I should had... step. Well, it depends on if the, well, the, the machine speed... is feeding it at the same speed that you're pulling no, it. The speed shouldn't make a difference for the width of the way the needle is like going down. Yeah, that's true. It should just be going faster or slower. Well, Put it. From from here, it looks like your stitch line is pretty damn straight, and well, it's straight, but it's like as long as the rod like will fit in the super, pocket. Super close together when I was going faster, and uh, far apart when I was going slow. I think you're worried about nothing. So I'm saying kind of sucks, but I think I'm gonna try a different setting and see if that works. You know what though? What? Learning by doing. Yeah. And then the other thing is, <laughs> I thought one piece was shorter than the other. That's why I only cut one. Of the original curtains? Yeah, yeah, but it's not the case. It's just Judy made one side at the very end. Of the <laughs> well, so because the window it. narrows, yeah. it slopes. But I could have made the, I could have cut out two exact pieces. Yeah, I got you. So now it's just like. 
and then just redo another cut. Sew it on an angle. Yeah. But yeah, you can sew it on an angle. That's fine. And that makes sense. Right. That she did that, actually. Right. So you should do that too. Well, I'm gonna. I'm just saying it sucks because I don't have to like, measure it. You, know? you know what you should do though? Orient your fabric so that yeah. the same side is up because um, I already did that. that's that's somewhere where Baby. Jody already did it. Judy failed. Yeah, she did it. They, they were upside did. down. <sighs> All right, babe. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to work. Yeah. Me too. Well, I'm down at the boat taking care of a couple other things. Virginia wanted me to hang these curtains in the main cabin just to see how they look. I think they look pretty fresh. I dig them. Ooh. That looks pretty good. That one's not done yet. Before and after. What does that mean? Get out of here. Can you put it back in? No, I'm getting it out. Well then, I don't know. Well, you can see that what it used to be. That looks pretty, pretty good. Ugly. Ooh, that's ugly. All right. This is what it used to be. That's what it currently is. Well, that was everywhere in the whole boat. Ugh. I <laughs> didn't like that. Nice. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Corners look tight? Yeah. Is it good? Looking at dog. Uh, oh, there it was in it. New headboard in three, two, one. Oh. Wow. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Hmm? I like it. Yeah. Good job. I brought the reupholstered headboard down. I think that looks pretty good clashes with this comforter, but uh, that's not my department. And here in the head, that's the last of the curtains. <laughs>